Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me here today on you know, quite a nice afternoon actually. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, showery round and about, but you know, certainly compared to the last three days where it's absolutely thrown it down with rain consistently, constantly. Uh, this is a blessing, so hence the, the rain jacket. You know, there's been a few showers around and about, but a bit of thunder as well, but um, I've pretty much got away with it this afternoon. So, um, got on with a few jobs. Of course, the rain has, everything has sprung up. You know, the crops, but really the weeds and the grass. So I've done a bit of grass cutting and we did a couple of the beds as well. Um, not particularly glamorous work, but someone's got to do it as they say but um, while that is you know relatively interesting and um, I am here to talk about whiskey and what is the allotment dram today I hear you ask well uh, it's a new bottle into our collection and it's the Glen Grant 10 years old so Glen Grant is a you know quite a big distillery you know six million liters or so which is on the, the bigger end of things uh, six million liters a year bang in the middle of Speyside, the, the town of Rothers, which uh, you know has four distilleries in the town, also the um, uh, Fourth Scythes, the Coppersmiths, they, they make a lot of the stills and distillery equipment, you know, very famous company, uh, based in Rothers as well. Uh, and yeah, just a lovely uh, distillery to visit actually, you know, it's uh, got a very nice visitor centre, uh, they do a great tour and you know particularly the the highlight is the still house where you've got all the stills lined up sort of on one side of the uh, one side of the the still house but they're elevated so uh, you're kind of looking up at them and then just at sort of eye level uh, is basically where they used to load the coal in so you've got the doors which um, you know they used to shovel the coal in to heat the stills so you know, there's not many distilleries that I've seen with that sort of setup remaining. Uh, so, you know, it does feel very special when you go there. As I say, they do a great tour. The other thing about um, about Glen Grant is they've got these lovely Victorian gardens, you know, which have been, you know, very well maintained. And these were actually created by Major James Grant, who was the gentleman who set up the the distillery in 1840 in Rothers and you know to this day you know you can go walking sort of way up almost up into the valley where the little stream where they take the water comes down you walk up into the valley into this lovely old Victorian garden um, the last time I went actually it was an absolutely bitterly cold day um, and you know it's, the ground was covered in frost and you know, there was, there was sort of some ice around and it just looked absolutely magical right in the middle of winter but you know it looked absolutely it's sort of amazing uh, but so yeah definitely well worth a visit um, if you're up in that sort of right in the middle of space side that sort of area but that's probably enough uh, chat um, what can I tell you about this well uh, this is bottled at 40% uh, the 10 years old and it's a uh, you know, pretty good price for you know an age statement whiskey about 30 32 pounds probably 35 depends you know, where you're looking but uh, yeah around that 30 pound mark so for a 10 year old single malt these days that's not too bad and uh, yeah just uh, matured in the old bourbon cast so you know it's uh, really sort of heralded as a classic space side style of single malt it's owned by grippo campari uh, so the owners of Cam campari you know that massive brand and a few other brands as well but um this is their only uh, scotch single malt um glenn grant and that kind of stems from a bit of history where glenn grant was actually you know the best selling single malt in in italy and campari bought it you know so sort of really on that basis and a you know, it's still a real stronghold for the brand in in uh, Italy. You know, so you see it's everywhere there, and it sells a lot. But um, you know, very well selling. Otherwise, you know, 
comfortably sits within the sort of top sort of 15 or 20 single malt brands um, across the world so uh, for sales so I think uh, without further ado we should probably have a taste so I'm going to open the bottle here and let's see what we've got not tried this for a very long time actually so lo looking forward to it very much very, very nice very nice pop of the cork there always good particularly when it's a new bottle here we go we just put that down put the cork back on for a second there we are so let's have a look at this so there you see a really pale gold almost a lemon yellow actually but a very fragrant as I was pouring it out there it's just it's immediately what I always call orchard fruit it's like crisp green apple and green pear as well just so yeah so delicious uh, and enticing as a smell quite light there's honey, there's some vanilla there as well. A bit of something a bit deeper, like butterscotch. Maybe just a pinch of cinnamon or something like that. Yeah, it smells very, very promising indeed. Let's have a taste. Goodness, that's really soft. So soft and gentle this sort of butterscotch and honey comes through to start with that creates this softness really and kind of then you get this green fruit that has this sort of crispness and freshness to it and this kind of starts your mouth watering a little bit and then sort of right underneath you've got this sort of quite delicate malty quality and Again, this little pinch of baking spice so big tall elegant stills at Glen Grant make this sort of light delicate spirit very fruity with this sort of green apple and pear type of fruit and this is actually uh, part of the inspiration for the bottle as well this sort of tall elegant bottle that we have uh, sort of modeled on the shape of the stills so quite like that sort of that sort of link but uh, let's have another taste. Yeah, so delicious and so it's got a little get a bit more of this sort of honey. There's a lot of vanilla obviously coming from these bourbon casks. It's a little twist of maybe like fresh lemon, fresh lemon zest. You know, literally just when you cut it but um, yeah so it's, it's light you know so if you like the lighter style of whiskey it's got sweetness it's got this green fruitiness but yeah just a very elegant as I say very classic Speyside style of Scotch single malt I mean it, it almost if you wanted to you know show somebody to demonstrate what a classic Speyside single malt should be then this Glen Grant 10 would be the perfect choice really and especially when you consider as I say 30 32 pounds plus the strength is not high you know it's 40 percent so you know very accessible so for beginners or as I say somebody that you want to sh really show what a classic Speyside style is then this Glen Grant 10 is an excellent choice I think and as a distillery they win an absolute bunch of awards uh, for, for their whiskies across the board so yeah delighted to get our hands on a bottle of this as I say we've not tried it for a very long time so um, I think from myself and Glen Grant 10 we will bid you farewell now pack our things away and head home and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time thanks for watching cheers